Welcome to the Skeeter Bass Champs television series. A big deal going on where? Lake Fork, Texas. What is it? The ninth annual Mega Bass event. Here's how it works. Almost 2,000 competitors will be on the water. They're going to have an hourly weigh-in for the biggest bass over the slot limit. The big fish walks away with a brand new fully rigged Skeeter ZX200. And we're going to pay over 10 places per hour. The number one fish hourly walks away with $15,000 cash, and the payout dwindles from there. Get ready, Skeeter Bass Champ starts now. Come on, big boy. There we go, boy. Good job. In 1997, Chad Potts and Jeff Welch created the Bass Champs Tournament Organization, hosting amateur oh, fishing events throughout the state of Texas. And when Skeeter Boats came aboard as the title sponsor, Bass Champs became the largest team tournament circuit in the nation, boasting the richest guaranteed payback in grassroots competition. So if you love bass fishing and you want to have a great time competing in the biggest team tournaments and big fish competitions, it's time to join us at Bass Champs. starts with the three holding tanks that you see right here. The next step is, do you make the decision to cross the line or not? And then you find the remaining four tanks that are official. They are beyond that line, and you have to check in at the computer station, enter your information with the Bass Champs crew, and then it's off to see Bud at the bump station. And then we stop with Jana, who is the director of operations. Hello. Hello. And you send the guys on stage. I do, after their name. Let's do it. There you go, fish, fish. About a 253. And as you can see, one of the contestants weighs a 253. Huh? Right now, he's leading the hour. Does it get any better than that? And the final stop is the guys that make it over here to the top 15. There's cash hourly prizes and there's merchandise. That's how it works when you weigh a bass at the Mega Bass event. You got a good one? Oh, look at this. Bag him up, baby. Come on, we're running out of time. That fish is legal. It'll be the first over on the day, hour number one. Let's go, man. How do you feel? Good. How's fishing on Lake Fork right now? I've caught two fish. Two fish, but you caught the right one. Have you measured him? Yes. And he's 24 and a half. Oh, I love it. Dude, come this way right here. Man. Move to that front tub for me. Yeah. Just in line. Okay. Put an air stone, get that fish's head down four. the other way. Just so we get some. Right. There you go. You got time. I'll count okay. you down. Here's the game. So you've got two and a half minutes to decide, and you must cross into the next 10. $15,000. Got the air stones on the fish, keeping him nice and oxygenated. All the way to the front. Them black bags worry me. Fish. I know they do. That's all strategy, right? <laughs> right. So were you fishing close? Uh, yes. Probably I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't, half a mile. I don't need the GPS coordinate. Yeah. But I would like to. Not know too where. far. <laughs> Not too far. Well, that's good, right? You maximize your time. Right. And you caught the right fish. One minute call. All the way to the far tub. He made the move. All the way to the far tub. Are you weighing? Far tub. You got 30 seconds to step in line. What? What? Did that just happen? Dude, you made the move. Made the move. Did you see this guy? Huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> don't know, don't care. Don't you're just glad to be in. Glad to be. Oh, man. All right. So basically what I'm seeing right here in the first hour, the line is just closed. Jeff Welch was working with the guys to get them in the troughs. We do have two fish that are potentially over the slot. Let's watch. This is an over, so we have two overs. Oh, we're going to wait two overs this hour. Not a very good strategy. It will be for one of them, but not the other one. They could have held it for the next hour, and they could have won 15000 instead of 1000 
or not. Apparently that one shrunk in the lab well. That'll be over 24 inches. That'll be a ticket. That guy's fish was short by maybe an inch. It's all about strategy and nerve. Talk about a roller coaster ride. Come on, let's watch Richard. Okay. Watch him now. We got a fat dog. And it is good. It is gonna measure 24 inches. He will now be in the lead for 15,000 plus a brand new skater ZX200. Richard Page, Fort Worth, Texas. Come right up here. Let's see what this thing weighs. Boy, this is a toad. 909 on the way. Hold that fish up for a picture. Skeeter Bass Champs with Fish Fishburn is brought to you by Skeeter. Eat, sleep, fish. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Power Pole. Swift, silent, secure. Lawrence. Find, navigate, dominate. Chevron Dello. Let's go further. Techron. Expect more. Sportsman's Auto Network. Dealers that speak our language. Welcome back to the Skeeter Bass Champs television series. First hour, official. Richard Page, 9.09 .09, big bass worth 15 grams. The overall champion's gonna walk away with this trophy and this brand new fully rigged Skeeter ZX200. Does it get any better? Well, guess what? Later in the program, I'll go ahead and tell you, you're gonna see a bass that's one of the largest fish ever weighed at a Bass Champs event. I give you my word, Peaky Promise, get ready. Here's how this works. You're in the staging tanks. You're yeah. not officially in line. Yeah. I'll count you down. If you want to wait for this hour, you must cross in the other tent. If you don't enter the other tent, by the time I close the line, you will yeah. not weigh this hour. Okay. Right now we have two overs. Okay. You guys will have to decide who goes. Both go, don't go. What, okay. that's, I'm, that's, going. I'm out of that. I'm out of that. I ain't waiting no longer. I can't wait. If you're going, I'm going. Then bag your fish and get in line. We're fixing to start. Hour number two, John Newkirk has a bass. John, uh, looks like it's a pretty good one. It's a good fish. Dude, go for I'm it. I'm so excited. Look at this. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, is that I, the biggest bait you've ever well, had? Well, yeah, look, not the biggest, but the second. <laughs> all the way to the bump table, all the way to the bump table, all the way. All right, all he has to do is go over that 24 inch. Oh, he's going to do it with flying color. Dude, congratulations. Thank you. First fish on the hour. You need a 909 to take the lead overall for 15,000 for the hour and a brand new Skeeter ZX200. Here's what you have. How about a 1235? Give her some support. Oh man, look at that. Look at that thing. 1235. Look at all right here. Look at it. Look at it. It's like the paparazzi you got going on. <laughs> all right, let's get her back in the water. We'll get some pictures. We'll get some pictures later. Also, we'll get that one back in the water. Who are you fishing with today? My brother has a good friend from work. And I remember you telling me you'd fished a lot of our North Region events in the past, but this is your first Mega Bass event. You told them you were coming regardless, and they kind of fought you for a little bit. They did. They were complaining about the $160 entry right. fee. Yeah. Are they still complaining? No, I told them the best 150 bucks I spent this year. Absolutely. Are you going to split it with them? I told them I'd give them a thousand dollars a piece to help me get her in because it was fun. Thousand dollars a piece sounds like a good deal. That's right. They ought to be happy. They work hard though. That's right. Did they? Did, who netted it? Well, she wouldn't even fit in the net. Our net wasn't big enough. We wasn't that prepared. So well, he wound up having a lipper, and uh, he did a good job, but her mouth was big. Couldn't miss it. A lipping a 12 pounder instead of netting it for a sixty thousand dollar package. Well, actually, seventy thousand dollar package. Fifteen thousand cash plus the Skeeter ZX. You got about five hours left I'm to wait. Sorry, I know. It's going to be a long five hours, but right now I think that's the biggest fish ever weighed in in a Mega Bass event. Cool. So, uh, based on history, you should be okay. I, I'm going back up. Try to do it again. All right, man. Good work. Chad, are you kidding me? One of the largest bass we.
we've ever seen in competition with the Skeeter Bass Champs. Yeah, and the Mega Bass Advantage 1235 is by far the, the largest one we've seen weighed in, but it's March on Lake Fork, so we were kind of expecting a big one to come in. It just, uh, we hadn't seen it over the years, but I tell you what, 1235 may hold up. It's unbelievable. We could see one every hour. We probably will, and probably more so the last hour because the guys that are sitting around waiting to weigh in, but 1235 may hold up. It's going to be interesting to see. It's Lake Fork. It's March. It's Mega Bass. Join us next year. What are you waiting for? Hold on just a second. Yeah, yeah. You made the move. I made the move. You're officially in. I'm officially in. How much time remains? About a minute and a half. Yeah. Oh, I might be big. I might be. Wait I might get bit. Did you see that? I didn't see you come in. All right, here we go. Buddy Glass in Solar Springs, Texas. It is an over. You need a 12:35 to take the overall lead. You're gonna have the lead this hour though. 7:66 at the moment. I'm going. You're going right now. I'm going. He's going. Let's go. We had one over in the seven-pound class that just weighed. He's gonna do it. All right, made it. That's why you got to flip him over. All right, Lonnie Pierce on his way up. He looked a little nervous over there when he was really measuring. Nervous. Really nervous. <laughs> All right, needs to be bigger than a 766. How about a 996? Hold that fish up right there. Let's get us some good pictures. Oh, there you go. Look out there for the cameras. All right. Right in the middle. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Right there, all over. Oh, it's like wow. being a superstar. I, mean, I am a superstar. I know. I've always said that. <laughs> Congratulations well, thank again. You, thank you very much. How about that? Unbelievable. I can't believe it. What was that craziness at the end? A guy runs right by. I don't even know where the guy came from. And all of a sudden, he's in front of me weighing a big fish. And I'm going, oh, my gosh, I've already messed up. Well, My no. strategy's done gone. You know, we talked about that. Yeah. You crossed yeah. the line yeah. and put your fish in the official holding tanks, right. the three. Yeah. And then Jeff Welch, tournament official, says right. you have until right. the last we second to step back out if yeah. you wanted to hold that fish. You held that fish for basically two hours. Right. And, and that was a great thing, him telling me that, because then I could watch his fish be weighed. Yes. And I saw it was a seven pounder. I thought, I think I got that one. I, I'm gonna go over and talk to take him, girl. talk to him for a second. What you gonna set him straight? I think I should, don't you? I think so. Welcome back to the Skeeter Bass Champs television series. Guys, it is heating up on Lake Fork. Remember, it's March and the bite is on. We're seeing overs every hour. Get ready because the next weigh-in starts now. All right, we got to figure out what's going on right here. Hey, Fish, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing good. Doing and good. what's in there? Oh, I don't know. She weighed 10, 14 on my scale. Come on. That's yes, a $15,000 bass. I hope so. I hope so. So you're just going to chill? I was chilling. I was trying to make the last way in, and I was running up here. I took my shoes off because we were outside. We couldn't get all the way up to the shore. Took my shoes off, and I slipped and fell right oh, out no. here. So I had to wait for this hour. Are you okay? I'm all right. I got a busted toe. You I'm busted right. your toe? Yes, sir. I did. <laughs> oh, any medical the attention? Of it. Uh, the ladies here helped me out big time. Good. So very good. I I'm took care of you a chair. All right. I had one. I'm good. I'm going to weigh her in now. You're going to weigh her now? I'm going to go weigh her in. No, wait a minute. Why? What about strategy? Well, that's true, but because I don't want to sit here all day. I need to go catch another one. All right. Come on, girl. All right. Oh, unbelievable. Another over every hour at the ninth annual Mega Bass. We're seeing overs. Hey, it's March. It's Lake Fork. All right, here is Tish Brayberry, Kemp, Texas. You do have an over. Yes, sir. And it is a good one. You need a 12.35 to take the overall lead. But for this hour, you have a 10.97. Hold that fish up. She doesn't even realize that her toe is broke. Look at that. There you go. Pull it down a little bit. There you go. Got to, there you go. Don't cover up your face. Not very often you get a 1097 to weigh in no, in a big sir. tournament. No, sir, you don't. That's right. And I caught six slot fish before I caught this one. All right. Dang. Yes, sir. We're going to find out where you went. We're all going to go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Big round of applause for our four winners over there, especially Tish, the 1097. Huge fish. Well, we've got the fifth hour weigh-in that's getting ready to start. Interesting. A gentleman by the name of James comes up behind me, taps me on the shoulder, says, hey, fish, we have a bass in our boat 
that might measure and be illegal over the slot fish. They are right here. I come down. James Edwin, first of all, thank you for notifying me that you've got a big one. What's the problem with the fish? Um, it, it won't measure on one side. You flip it over, it touches 24. Well, you on can, our board. You on can our touch. Board. You want to test the fish? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, it. we're going to do a test right here. Now, you got to have the proper board. This is the pro rule. It's the slot limit is 16 to 24 here. Go ahead and put that fish on the board and let's get on and see and we'll get her back in the box. You got to pinch the mouth and you fan the tail. And see, I'm having to, let's see, okay. Now you see. almost gets it there, but if you turn, yeah. Yeah, see, he's touching yeah. right, right there. Are you guys going to make the call? Um, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> We're probably going to have to it, try it. It's on there, isn't it? It's $15,000. Let's go. Okay, we're going. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. That's what we're talking about. So, James Chapman. He's measuring. So they're oh, flipping it over. You never know. One side, one side it could be up to I've seen it a half inch or even more difference on length because of the way their belly is. Come on, baby. There it is. Keep on. Right? No, she's an egg. Okay. All right, it did not go. You know, it all boils down to the rules and the rule maker, Jeff Welch, with the Skeeter Bass Champs organization. Jeff, we're on Lake Fork. Are these standard Skeeter Bass Champs tournament rules? They are for Lake Fork. There, there are big bass rules, but we're on a slot lake. Yeah. A lot of money's won under that 16 inches. A yes. lot of money's won over 24 inches. And we've seen it both ways today. We have. And so when an angler comes in, and these guys are fired up, there's a ton of money on the line. Over $200,000 is going to be given away in one day today. They're nervous and they're, they're processing and they brought in some under the slots and over the slots. Yeah, they didn't bring it up here. Of course. On purpose. Right. But it, once you get it up here, you get the mouth settled, look at the tail. Hey, same thing I always say is we spend all this money and time on tackle, boats, trucks, rods, reels, lines. When's the last time you bought a new measuring board? Take it from Jeff Welch, guys. Get a new board! Cody Bracco, Whitney, Texas, gonna have an over. Oh, that's great. All right, you excited? I'm excited. Hey, right now, 9, 12 on the way. Hold that fish up. Very nice. Skeeter Bass Champs with Fish Fishburn is brought to you by Skeeter, eat, sleep, fish. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Lawrence, find, navigate, Dominate. Chevron Dello. Let's go further. Techron. Expect more. Sportsman's Auto Network. Dealers that speak our language. He has an over. You need a 12.35 or bigger to take the lead overall. You're already going to win the hour. Do you think you got it? I hope so. Well, I think so. I think he might. You need a 12.35. You got a 12.22. <laughs> Hold that fish up. A 12.22. Twelve Let's get her back in the bag. We'll get her back in the water. Dude, I thought you had it. I did too. Man, just missed it. Just missed it. It's 15,000 bucks though right now. Well, that'll work. I'm happy with that. It's just not twelve or 15,000 and a Skeeter, but 
it's still 15,000. That's great. You know, you, I fish a lot of tournaments. I fish with y'all guys a lot. And to come away here, come away with some money is always a benefit. Absolutely, man. Congratulations. Thank Big you. fish. Round of applause for this guy. That's close. With a 12.35 largemouth bass, John, congratulations Thank again. You. That's yours, and this Skeeter ZX200 is going home with you. I know it, isn't that unbelievable? Dude, I'm it's like $70,000 in cash and merchandise for first place. This is just a mere one right. on the lineup of Bass Champs events where we have big bass weigh-ins, okay? Right. Yeah. So we've got the Skeeter Owners Tournament. You need to come out for that, and you certainly need yep. to come out for the Berkeley Big Bass in the fall. Yep. It's all right here on Lake Fork, and you need to join us. John? Anything else you gotta go with? I'll see you guys in the Berkeley Big Bass one. It's time for the Berkeley winning strategy. John Newkirk spent several days practicing on Lake Fork and found that the post cold frontal conditions had moved most of the shallow fish to deeper water depths. Using a three quarter ounce green pumpkin swim jig rigged on a heavy action casting rod and 20 pound fluorocarbon line, John concentrated on standing timber along the creek channel edges where he worked the jig in and around the vertical cover. The water here was stained and the key depths were six to eight feet deep. His behemoth largemouth weighing over 12 pounds wouldn't even fit in the landing net, but his partners helped him harness the giant. And that's your Berkeley winning strategy. So your name's Will. <laughs> what a great start to the ninth annual Mega Bass event. An hour each hour. Yeah. Oh. Over, I believe that again. Yeah. It's Lake Fork. It's March. It's Mega Bass. Join us next year. What are you waiting for? All right, here we go. <laughs>